Hey with Firearm here again. Got another very strange little gun on the table. Who knows what this gun is? Eh, wrong. Or maybe right, I don't know what you said. But this is the Frummer Baby, actually. Let's do a quick safety check. Drop the mag. Got a dummy round in there right there. And... There you go. Tried not to let the hammer drop like that, but whatever. This is the Frommer Baby, actually. The This pistol was designed by Rudolf Frommer in the early 1900s. And he actually designed a bigger one called the Frommer's Stop. Well, the Austrian military also wanted a smaller version of the exact same gun for their uh, pilots. And so they made this. Frommer actually made this. And I think like 75% of the parts in here will fit in the Frommer Stop, which is really cool. These guns were manufactured by Fegverjar, which actually means small arms and machining company in Budapest, Hungary from 1912 to 1929. So these are some old guns. Some really old ones. Based on the serial number right here, this one was made in 1925. And the cool thing is the crest right there on the trigger guard, that's actually an Austrian military crest. So this or sorry, not Austrian, Hung Hungarian. My apologies, this is a Hungarian gun. <laughs> but that's the Hungarian military crest. And this gun quite easily could have been issued to a Hungarian Air Force pilot. Who knows? Uh, most of these were marked with civilian markings, but th this is a military marked from her baby. They came with the you know, these kind of weird, funky grips. You know, on both sides, are, they're neat looking. The firing mechanism on this gun is very strange. One, you have a very odd, you know, hold and purchase on the firearm. It's very, you know, it's weird feeling. And the recoil mechanism on the gun is rather strange. I'll have to make another video on this gun to, sh to explain the recoil mechanism because it's not something I can make and have the narrations of this video in. It, it'd just be a really long video. Uh, to actually shoot this gun, it's really weird because you can only get you know two fingers you know on the firearm, and the recoil is just kind of funny. It's like a two-stage recoil. It, it just has a funny feel to it. Uh, so let's go to a quick shooting video, and also the video will show you how bad these sights are. God, they suck. Why can't military sights be better? So let's go to that video real quick. Shooting this gun isn't bad, actually. It has, again, it has a funny recoil. It just feels weird. Uh, this recoil, recoil system can only be explained as a long, you know, recoil system. But the size of this gun does make it a little weird to yield. And let me put some in here that we all know what the size is. That's right. It's a hundred dollar bill. It's a new one. Party. The grip angle on this gun does not lend itself to being comfortable to hold for long periods. Let me get the beautiful $100 bill out the way. Coupled that with the gun is very top heavy. It just, it just feels very, very top heavy. I know guns have all their mass up top, but this one just feels much worse as far as top heaviness goes. Uh, and the weird thing is this gun will work with 32 ACP. But on the bottom here, oh, let me flip it so you can actually read it. It says 765 Frommer. And what that is, is 32 ACP 
hot load. It's just a hotter round than normal 32 ACP. So sometimes with modern ammo, will not cycle the action properly to eject the round and strip the new round off. It's, it's just slightly weaker than what this gun is designed for. I, you know, honestly though, with I've only had maybe two rounds out of the couple of hundred rounds I fired through this actually not cycle the weapon properly, and I, I don't I don't think I attribute that to ammo as much as more as I may have limp wristed it. I don't know. Uh, but with those two malfunctions that I did have, it just didn't you know have enough oomph to cock the hammer. It barely had enough oomph to get the brass out. Uh, put a link in the description box below to a website that has a heck of a lot more information on this gun than I know. And you know, if you have, if you are interested in this gun or want to know more about this gun, you can go to that website and find out way more than I can tell you in a short video. But this is Fatty with a Firearm. If you liked the video, like, share, subscribe. It would be very helpful. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.